Hi, today I would like to talk about C sharp tuples. So let's get started. The best way is to show it by an example. So let's say I just have a function get data and it needs to return several things. For example, I want to return the first name, the last name, the address, and maybe the date time dot now. So what I can do is I can basically have it return something called a tuple. So here is a tuple and I'm giving it uh, the various to the generic, the various four parameters, string, string, and date time. And uh, the way to create it is basically return new tuple and I can uh, inside the brackets given the four parameters. And if I just run this, uh, you can see that uh, it does uh, what I expect it to do. And uh, here, the advantage here is you can just get a, a tuple variable back with uh, lots of uh, data that you might want. So uh, this is a simple way to have a function return um, essentially uh, multiple things or mul and it's a quick way to uh, do it also. You don't have to uh, basically declare a class and have names and uh, fields for that. And when you print this tuple, it prints pretty nicely. So you can see it's printing this tuple under this uh, brackets, uh, left arrow and the right arrow brackets and it prints it fine. If you need to access the various items inside the tuple, you can just say item 1, item 2, item 3, and item 4. So this is, uh, I've heard this can also be useful if you are um, trying to call functions in some other languages such as Python, but I have not basically tried that. But I would uh, suggest that if you see somebody else's code, then you know what these tuples are doing. And thank you for watching this short screencast. If you want to know more about this or any other videos, you can just go to my website, Gaur Associates. And here I did a search for music videos and you can see I got lots of great music videos very fast. So thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.